Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, it's because you picked a slingshot and target for your Trash Panda Treasure subscription box. You're going to notice there are all kinds of parts to your box. Um, and this video is going to walk you through not only how to put that slingshot together, but also some ways, only some of the ways in which you can use all of the parts that are in there to make kind of an obstacle course or different targets for your slingshot. Let's take a look. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna cut my rubber band so it's one long piece, and I'm gonna use this weird hook paperclip object. As you can see, it should fit right through the hole of the top of your slingshot, and then if you attach that rubber band to the end of it, you should be able to pull it through which will let you then double knot part of that rubber band to start making your slingshot. And I double knotted mine just to make sure that it wouldn't be an easy thing for it to pull back through. Okay. Now, after you've got that first knot in there, we're going to do the exact same thing, but instead of taking it through the slingshot, we are going to take it through this sort of oval-shaped leather piece. That is the part, the sling, if you will, that is actually going to hold your ping pong ball. And we're going to pull it from the inside to the outside. It should go right through the holes that are on there. Make sure you're pulling on the right one. And don't be too concerned about the placement because you can move it back and forth along that rubber band once you've got it all secured and knotted in place. So same thing from the inside to the outside. We're going to pull it through. There we go. And then we're going to finish the whole thing off by putting the rubber band through the other hole in the top portion of your slingshot. And then we'll double knot the end again, just like we did on that first side. You may notice that the outer edges of your slingshot also have a little groove. If you have longer rubber bands or want to try something different, you could certainly, instead of going through, try knotting them around or doing a double strength rubber band. Really, this is for you to kind of do your own experiments with and see what works best. These were just the standard instructions for um, the slingshot that, that I had found and wanted to use. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And then when we pull it, that should stay put and give you a perfect spot for your ping pong ball. Just like that. Should sit right inside that sling. What to do with the rest of these pieces? You'll notice the plates have a circle, circular indentation and if you cut out that circular indentation, it's gonna leave you with kind of a ring shape. And these make really great targets to try and shoot that ping pong ball right through. And they're not too tricky. The plates are not super thick, so they should be pretty simple to cut right through. If you have another idea for your plates, don't feel like you have to do this one. This was just something that we figured out when we were trying to think of a way to build targets. Again, one use for the straws uh, is to mount the rings on. And one thing that will help keep them upright is on the bottom bit, if you cut three straight lines, not too long, you can then fold out those lines. And if you tape it down to a surface, it will keep that upright and you can mount your ring to the top of it, um, and that way nobody has to hold them. So you can do target practice all on your own. 
Um, you can tape them to the plate if you want to. If you don't happen to have any tape, that's okay. You can use your scissors and cut two small um, slits into the bottom of the ring. There we go. And then taking the other end of your straw, you can pass it right through that and then um, it will stand upright and give you, give you a target. And what else do we have in there? Index cards. This is another thing that you can use um, to build kind of building blocks. So you can create a tower that you can knock down or a structure of some kind. These uh, also uh, can use a little bit of tape. These triangular, I, I just keep referring to them as blocks, um, but if you tape them on those two edges, you will be able to stand them up right, like so. And same thing with those cups. They are stackable to build things which you can then knock down. So there are a couple of ideas, but by no means is that the only way to use everything that's in that box. You guys probably have a bunch of stuff at home that you can use to create obstacle courses and target ranges for your slingshot as well. And if you really like that slingshot, um, but you don't like the color or you wanted to put your name on it or something cool like that, those were all 3D printed in our makerspace. So you are more than welcome to come on down and try to customize one for yourself. Thanks for following along. I hope you had fun with it. I hope to see you back next month for another Trash Panda Treasures subscription box. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.